Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back my glorious Bannerman to another mod spotlight for Total War Warhammer. Today we're going to be looking at a really, really cool mod which goes ahead and does its best to add in the Tomb Kings to Total War Warhammer. Um, I say does its best because it's kind of a bit hard to do it. A lot of the assets he's having to use are the assets for vampire counts, so it kind of does resemble vampire counts a fair amount. But, you know, it's still really, really cool to kind of use these more unique units. And it's just interesting to kind of spice things up. You can also go ahead and play this faction in the campaign. It goes ahead and adds uh, land down in the south, I think, in the Badlands. As well as an army outside of uh, Castle Drakenhof, I believe, anyway. I haven't actually tried it out, but that's what I read. So, yeah, it's also really cool as well because the, like, the Lord has a... This is like a legendary Lord you can actually use in the campaign. And it has like his own unique kind of like look and stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're quickly going to go ahead and run through like the units and what they look like. Uh, there's not really a whole lot in this camp in this mod right now. But if you guys want to see this mod or take it further, I'm sure if you guys go over to the link in the description, subscribe to it, tell him that you like it, he'll continue to work on it. Um, I'm sure that's the case for quite a few mods, you know. That's why it's always good to support a mod if you see it's a cool idea. Even if you're not going to play it, just go and subscribe to it. And, you know, hopefully they'll take it further and you might then one day play it. See, let's go ahead and start off with the army of the Tomb Kings. It's not really like, as again, as I said, a huge amount, but we'll go ahead and uh, check them out anyway. So, uh, to begin with, we have these uh, skeleton trebuchets, I guess they're just called. I guess, let's see what they're called. They are just uh, skeleton catapults. Unfortunately, they, they don't fire uh, screaming skulls. Uh, but you never know, maybe one day we'll see it, and especially when the Tomb Kings get added into Warhammer, you know, whether it's game 2 or game 3, I can't wait to see what they look like. So yeah, these are basically just Bretonian catapults, you can even see this coat of arms on there, but you know, I like to think that the, the Tomb King has just taken these from the Bretonians, why the hell not, because they don't have Screaming Skull catapults quite yet. Then, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name, the Ushbitai, I guess I did try and pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, I've seen these guys before actually in Call of Warhammer, and they are really, really strong. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they kind of do this uh, in this battle. Again, they're just like huge skeletons with kind of some uh, undead armor on. So again, it kind of does break a bit of the immersion of playing the Tomb Kings, because... Again, they have uh, skeleton armor on or undead armor on, but you know, they still look awesome. They're like much bigger than obviously the normal skeleton, as you can see. And they've got a huge ass two handed weapon, so what more can you ask for? And I think that there's only 18 of them in a unit, so these guys are very, very brutal in combat. And we're up against, I think, a fairly large dwarven army, so we'll see how that pans out. Then I have my uh, general, uh, Setra the Third. I don't actually know anything about him, so if you want to let me know in the comments, you know, kind of what he did. Um, I know he's like the son of the pharaoh or, or something, I don't know. My Tomb King lore is really, really bad. It's probably one of my worst laws. Um, so yeah, please let me know about Setra the Third, because uh, I'd be really interested to read that. So yeah, there's more of these, uh, these bad boys. I can't wait to get these guys charging into the enemy. And look how huge he is as well. He's actually really tall. Uh, then I have uh, like five or like just a bunch of these skeleton archers. Just going to go ahead and black out the sky with my arrows. Ranking down all down the battle line. Looking cool. And then finally I have some uh, skeleton swords and uh, some skeleton spears. So these guys are basically just, you know, a little bit of a different color to them. But they basically are the same as the undead. So yeah, that's, that's the army. That's what they add in. Um, I might also go ahead. Oh, what are these guys doing? Are they like charging without me giving the order? No, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. So the trebuchets or anything aren't in range. Um, I might just sit back and let the enemy come to me. So we can go ahead and just watch our catapults just devastate the dwarven line. Like they're doing already. Actually already killing quite a few of these guys. So I actually give them more troops in me, I believe. Or oh, I gave them be better quality. You can see the balance of power is actually in their favour. So this should be a, a fairly interesting uh, battle for sure. Hopefully my archers can just, just pepper them. More catapults coming in as well. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm just excited to see what the... Uh, oh, that was a huge hit. Oh, and so is that. I'm just excited to see what these huge two-handed uh, beasts do in combat. I want to see what these guys do. I might just charge them in as well, like in front of my line. Maybe let my archers like send a few volleys off, and then just charge up these uh, these Tomb King warriors into the enemy combat. But look at these these uh, catapults. How cool would it be if they were just screaming skulls, though? That'd be epic. And these trebuchets really remind me of Lord of the Rings. You know when uh, when they're besieging Minas Tirith. 
and the catapults are just coming out and just finding their marks. It really does remind me of like just that like whole animation and the, the whole rock and everything. You know, they just look like they're shooting parts of the city at the enemy. These trebuchets are brutal. Are our, are our skeleton warriors in range yet? Uh, some of them are. Let loose the arrows. That looks so cool. Fire! I guess because you don't actually get to see many archers in the game, really, do you? Yeah, so you haven't really seen this animation much. Because there's all, like, trebuchets and, like, archers and... I mean, trebuchets and handgunners. You don't really get to see the archer animation. It does look really, really cool. That looks awesome. So let's go ahead and pause it, because I want to charge these bad boys into the enemy forces. I want to get these guys just to collide, like, through my skeleton infantry line. That unit of hammers has been annihilated as well. Cool. So these guys are just going to be charging forward. The archer fire must be horrific for these guys, just to, the dwarves to be dropping. Just go ahead and continue it. There's actually a bit of blood in this as well. What the hell? That's weird. Here they come. Oh, they seven flying. That's so cool. Look at them. Just yeah. There's actually some blood coming off of them. Does this mod add some blood or something? I guess they must. That's awesome. Like, there's just like drips of blood. Oh my god, they're getting cut down by the hammer as well already. I need to go ahead and support them with some skeletons, I think. Maybe even my faction leader. Definitely need to support them. They're actually getting cut down, which is not good for me. But we have so many missiles, just kill all our own men. We'll throw in our faction leader as well. He will come up into the battle. We won't be doing too much. Like we won't be doing too much more of this, just because I just want to go ahead and watch the battle unfold. Watch our faction leader come into the into the fray as well. That's awesome that the mod actually adds in like a, not like blood or anything, but just a little bit. Maybe it's just been crumbling. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's like just splatters of blood just going off. That's that's really funny. I mean, I, like that's something that Creative Assembly normally do as well. They normally add in the blood pack. Like like oh, there could be arrow fire as well. They normally add in like the blood pack like pretty quickly after after the release, but they just haven't done it for Warhammer, so I don't know if they're going to or not. It looks like flowers. It look, they look, I think the models like use some sort of like flowers or something as blood. Oh, 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 oh the faction leader has a few arrows in his back, but I don't think that really bothers him too much. Watch these these boys just going and just smashing into the enemy line. I love how they're just sending them flying as well. The archer fire coming overhead just looks awesome. Oh, that guy's took like a, a huge arrow to the back. He's taking like three arrows to the back there. So yeah, it's really awesome to see what all the modders are doing with the game. You know, the fact that... Oh God, look at all the arrows in him. The fact that someone's actually managed to kind of, you know, take the Tomb Kings and, you know, there's not really much you can do. You know, add in some skeletons and stuff. But the fact that they've actually managed to go ahead and uh, add in another faction. Even though, obviously, they're not perfect. There's a lot of things which could be different. A lot of stuff which aren't actually in the game. Um, however, I think... Oh, actually, I don't think, I think I actually didn't bring one of the units as well. I think one of the units in this mod is actually chariots as well, which I definitely should have brought. I completely forgot about that. But I mean, I guess you guys can just go ahead and check that out anyway, if you want to. And by the looks of it, we actually were victorious over here with our general. So let's go ahead and charge into this, uh, into the backs of these hammerers. The skeletons are coming to aid as well. Doing okay over here, not as, as well as I'd like, but not bad, not bad. We'll go ahead and just send our men forward. I mean, how's Ungrim doing as well? He's been fighting for some time. Yeah, he's just fighting some easy units, so... It's not even impressive if he wins. Hot Hodges have done an amazing job. Just slaughtering them. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get back to our, our general and watch him just devour these dwarves. Is that blood or is that just like them crumbling? I think it's just them crumbling, maybe. Yeah, that's not. So it's not blood. It's just them crumbling, probably. Oh, 
to see what magic he has as well. I assume he is just the normal vampiric magic. Yeah, purple stun. Does he have raised dead? Because uh, let's go ahead and curse of years. I've like barely used any of the vampiric, uh, any of the vampiric magic like whatsoever. I just haven't used it. I just barely played the vampires, if I'm honest. Some of our men are starting to crumble though, which is not what we want to happen. Let's go ahead and where's that general at actually? Where is that general at? Ungrim is still just full health. That's hilarious. Capal fire is still coming out. We're doing a good job. I feel like we've won this battle, even though it doesn't look like we're going to win this battle. I feel like we have. There we go. Let's raise him dead on top of Ungrim. I'm not sure yet, the zombies will just look like normal. Okay, cool. I wanted to test that out to see what the zombies would actually look like. How are we, are we gonna lose? Do we have, we have like some of these guys left just going in. I might bring them back and charge. No, we're gonna lose this battle, that's hilarious. A general's gonna die, a general's routing and that'll crumble everything. I just gave them too much of a stronger force and our arrows could not block out the sun. But again, I love these archers, I really do. Like, it just looks so cool. It just, I think it just makes it look more medieval or something to me. <laughs> I say that with a skeleton shooting arrows. But I don't know. I just love the, like, archers more than I do crossbows or handgunners. It just, like, that, when they just pull back the string and stuff, it just looks so cool. It really does. Cool. So let's go ahead and just concede defeat. Um, we can also quickly go, quickly, 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 go check out, uh, check out what the campaign looks like. Well, not check out what the campaign looks like. Oh, look at them hammerers. 240 gills, 165. Well, uh, yeah, screw it. Let's go ahead. This is like a mod spotlight video. So let's just quickly go check out what the campaign actually looks like. So you go to campaign, you can see they actually just say vampire counts. That's the faction they replace. They have uh, skeleton chariots, uh, skeleton catapults, and uh, this unit I can't pronounce. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. So yeah, the faction leader thing's messed up again. But I think both these, uh, both these, both these guys are different. Maybe not this guy. But this isn't, this isn't Heinrich. So I think both the legendary lords are different, which is cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and play as this guy. Actually, has a, a nice description talking about him as well, which maybe I should read uh, before starting. But, oh well, let's go ahead and jump in. We'll quickly just skip all of this, and then we'll see, like, basically just the starting position for the Tomb Kings, and that'll be it for the video. I think. I think that's kind of a nice round off. We're kind of checking out all the aspects of the campaign. And the mod itself. And that should go ahead and uh, just give you guys a rough idea. If you want to obviously download this, as I said uh, before, the link will be in the description. You guys can go over there and just check it out. I mean, it's nice to kind of uh, mess things up. Like, obviously, this mod isn't like, you know, adding a complete faction like to the standard, but some other like creative assembly or something like that would do Tomb Kings justice. But, you know, he's done good with what he's what he's got. You know, he's, he's made good of the resources he has, so I always like to see that. And, you know, like, one of the, the main things as well is the Dwarven uh, mod, which adds in all the additional units. He's kind of taken aspects from all the Dwarves and kind of made these nice, new, unique units. Okay, guys, so this is how you start off in the campaign. You have a uh, stack over here. I think, actually, with your faction leader as well. He's currently situated here. I think you can probably take Castle Draken off with this starting army, maybe. Uh, you can't. You can actually raise dead as well, some zombies and some skeletons. Uh, but you also go ahead and get some provinces down here to the south of the Badlands. I think they actually made this province. Like, this province wasn't here originally. Uh, again, a lot of these are vampiric buildings, but I think they're all situated to actually have uh, your units build out of them. Uh, some skeleton horsemen. Yeah, you can actually still get some of the vampiric creatures as well, but, you know, it's still fun to use. Uh, so, yeah, you have two provinces down in the south and your general up here to the north. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how the campaign starts. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little mod spotlight video of the Tomb Kings. Uh, again, the mod still has a long, long, long way to come. But it's still interesting to kind of watch it and see see the early stages of the mod itself. Uh, make sure to go check it out in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here. And welcome back, my glorious Bannerman, to another mod spotlight for Total War Warhammer. Today, we're going to be looking at a really, really cool mod which goes ahead and does its best to add in the Tomb Kings to Total War Warhammer. Um, I say does its best because it's kind of a bit hard to do it. A lot of the assets he's having to use are the assets for the vampire counts, so it kind of does resemble vampire counts a fair amount. 
But, you know, it's still really, really cool to kind of use these more unique units. And it's just interesting to kind of spice things up. You can also go ahead and play this faction in the campaign. It goes ahead and adds uh, land down in the south, I think, of the Badlands. As well as an army outside of uh, Castle Drakenhof, I believe, anyway. I haven't actually tried it out, but that's what I read. So, yeah, it's also really cool as well because the, like, the Lord has a... This is like a legendary Lord you can actually use in the campaign. And it has like his own unique kind of like look and stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're quickly going to go ahead and run through like the units and what they look like. Uh, there's not, the Tomb King has just taken these from the Bretonians. Why the hell not? Because they don't have Screaming Skull catapults quite yet. Then, um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name, the Ushbitai. I guess I did try and pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, I've seen these guys before actually in Call of Warhammer, and they are really, really strong. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they kind of do this uh, in this battle. Again, they're just like huge skeletons with kind of some uh, undead armor on. So again, it kind of does break a bit of the immersion of playing the Tomb Kings, because... Again, they have uh, skeleton armor on or undead armor on. But, you know, they still look awesome. They're, like, much bigger than, obviously, the normal skeleton, as you can see. And they've got a huge-ass two-handed weapon. So what more can you ask for? And I think that there's only 18 of them in a unit. So these guys are very, very brutal in combat. And we're up against, I think, a fairly large dwarven army. So we'll see how that pans out. Then I have my uh, general, uh, Cetra the Third. I don't actually know anything about really a whole lot in this camp, in this mod right now. But if you guys want to see this mod or take it further, I'm sure if you guys go over to the link in the description, subscribe to it, tell him that you like it, he'll continue to work on it. Um, I'm sure that's the case of quite a few mods. You know, that's why it's always good to support a mod. If you see it's a cool idea, even if you're not going to play it, just go and subscribe to it. And, you know, hopefully they'll take it further and you might then one day play it. See, let's go ahead and start off with the army of the Tomb Kings. It's not really like, as again, as I said, a huge amount, but we'll go ahead and uh, check them out anyway. So, uh, to begin with, we have these uh, skeleton trebuchets, I guess they're just called. I guess, let's see what they're called. They are just uh, skeleton catapults. Unfortunately, they, they don't fire uh, screaming skulls. Uh, but you never know, maybe one day we'll see it, and especially when the Tomb Kings get added into Warhammer, you know, whether it's game 2 or game 3, I can't wait to see what they look like. So yeah, these are basically just Bretonian catapults, you can even see his coat of arms on there, but you know, I like to think that they're about him, so if you want to let me know in the comments, you know, kind of what he did, um, I know he's like the son of the Pharaoh or something, I don't know, my Tomb King lore is really, really bad, it's probably one of my worst lores. Um, so yeah, please let me know about Setra the Third, because uh, I'd be really interested to read that. So yeah, there's more of these uh, these bad boys. I can't wait to get these guys charging into the enemy. And look how huge he is as well. He's actually really tall. Uh, then I have uh, like five or like just a bunch of these skeleton archers. Just gonna go ahead and black out the sky with my arrows, ranking down all down the battle line, looking cool. And then finally, I have some uh, skeleton swords. And uh, some skeleton spears. So these guys are basically just, you know, a little bit of a different colour to them. But they basically are the same as the undead. So yeah, that's, that's the army. That's what they add in. Um, I might also go ahead. Oh, what are these guys doing? Are they like charging without me giving the order? No, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. So the trebuchets or anything aren't in range. Um, I might just sit back and let the enemy come to me. So we can go ahead and just watch our catapults just devastate the dwarven line. Like they're doing already. Actually already killing quite a few of these guys. So I actually give them more troops than me. I believe. Or I gave them be better quality. You can see the balance of power is actually in their favour. So this should be a, a fairly interesting uh, battle for sure. Hopefully my archers can just, just pepper them. More catapults coming in as well. Yeah, I'm just looking, I'm just excited to see what the, uh, oh, that's a huge hit. Oh, and so is that. I'm just excited to see what these huge two-handed uh, beasts do in combat. I want to see what these guys do. I might just charge them in as well, like, in front of my line. Maybe let my archers, like, send a few volleys off, and then just charge up the 